Hey, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and this morning we have two reasons. We have so many reasons to celebrate, but it's National Guacamole Day. So we are excited to have our friend, the guacamole expert, and my Washington neighbor, chef and host of Patti's Mexican Table. Patti Hinnett showing us how to make three delicious variations. We're going to talk about guacamole. It's Mexican Independence Day, the perfect person. So we're going to go down Premier here. Premier day for your show. Premier day for Premier your day show. For Mexican Table. You guys are so excited. And so many ways for your guacamole days. Yes. Because guacamole is um, his Mexican tradition that goes back hundreds of years. You got some new twists on it, but the base, yes. you always got to so have one base, thing. Yeah. So you, of course, need to find your ripe avocados yep. from Mexico. Perfect. You know how do you choose them. They Get give a in a little, exactly. They should be really, really dark. And then you start from the same base. You each have your stage. Okay, we're going down. You're going to okay, show so. us what's in the base. Yeah, so to yeah. make your base. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is so much fun, you guys. <laughs> so Let's you start through. with your base. You mash the avocados that you have here okay. with a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice okay. and yeah. salt. Okay. And I'll then mash. you mash away. And from here, you already have choices because you can make it chunky. You can make it smooth. Yeah. You like I, chunky I or like smooth? Where are you? Okay. And then, Ceci. Cecilia. Yeah, Ceci. Ceci, Ceci como quieres. Ceci. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna, this is the Spanish speaking station. <laughs> so then, we're going to make it smoky guacamole. You're making smoky. And how do you make it smoky? So to make it smoky, you use your traditional ingredients, which is onion, garlic, We're going to really jalapeno. do this here. I'm going to put this. This is a mocha hit. So first, wait, wait. Oh. First the base. First oh, you're the putting base. the base in first. Yes. Oh, the, oh, wow. Mexican fail. <laughs> Mix, it's fine. <laughs> but if you add the garlic okay. and the chile and the onion that you charred or roasted. So these are charred already, okay. Yeah, so That's you're like, getting a smoky, rustic, deep taste. Uh -huh. And then you mash away with a little salt. Okay. And Do I, am I, like am I, just, I yeah, in the, like, gonna, yeah, okay. like, hard, like go, yes, go at it. Yeah, I'm getting in it. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. And then the good thing about starting with your seasoning here uh -huh. is that all the essential oil and flavors mesh together and then you mix it with your, with your avocado all right and so you have you have a rustic guacamole base Delish. that has so much flavor already and then you can top it Quick with topping. You can do bacon bits. You can do Whoa, chicharrones. You can do chorizo. Cheddar. We're really going hard So you can do hefty right meat. Okay. okay, you got go down, and go down, Lara. She's coming to you. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Started. I have my base. You I have think your I base. It. Okay. So, so I'm now, doing a tray chile. Yes. Yay! Yeah. So I like a little kick. Oh, oh, and you know, people think that you can just use one chile when you're making guacamole. No, you no, can we're play. going three chiles. Yeah. Three chiles. Tres. So you're Tres. adding a little bit of jalapeno. Oh boy. And you're adding yeah. a you little like bit it? of you want it? You want it hot? And then you're adding oh, your piquín oh. chiles. You, okay, you guys yeah. wanted it hot. Yeah. You Don't wanted it hot. It's cute, but spicy. And then oh, you mix like you. that up. Yeah. Okay, so then we mix all then those. you mix all that up, and then at the end, you add the cherry or grape tomatoes. I love it. Look and how then pretty. you can garnish with queso fresco or queso Yum. cotija. And, and then, you can make, yeah. this is three chiles, but you can make it 20 chiles. Yes. Yeah. And then, then, okay. We have two ingredients. I mean, mine's amazing. Looks so Very good. not guacamole. Yes, pistachio and ginger. Ginger, just for you. Yay. So this is this is a guacamole that I was exploring when I visited Nuevo León and Monterrey for the new season of Paris Mexican Table where they use a lot of nuts and honey and citrus with their avocado. It mm -hmm. makes the avocado shine and the chile shine. So you have yeah. fresh ginger, mm -hmm. like you. And then you have very the fresh. dried chile de árbol, which is smoky and very rustic as well. And, and then, then you have honey. the honey. That's gonna and really. And then mash away okay. and you'll make that paste. This, this is, is a table very unprecedented yeah. guacamole. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna see how the avocado shines wow. with Okay, it. so then we do guacamole, or the, the then, actual avocado. Yeah. Now if you don't, I know we're gonna put pistachio on top, yes. top, but if you are allergic or you don't like that, is there an, a substitute? Yeah, you can do any seeds. You can do sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, you can do yeah. other kinds of nuts. Okay. Or you can just keep the pistachio, but this is, you're playing with like the spice from ginger and the spice from chili, mm -hmm. so you can take your 
your guacamole wherever you Get feel like. like. Did you, yeah, did you taste it? No, 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 no. I put a lot of the pepper, the chili in there. It's good, because mm. it has a lot of the avocado. Mm. So tell me what you think about the pizza. Good. I love it's good. Good. It's good. I do this. Right? I, I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous when I heard pistachio I honey, too, but it actually but it works really nicely. Yeah. Yes, yes. What it's do you really think good. of yours? They're all delicious. They're all yeah. delicious. You can't go wrong. All right, guys, scan the QR code right there on your screen to get these recipes on goodmorningamerica.com. And the new season of Buffy's Mexican Table, great show, premieres today on PBS stations nationwide. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.